I have been doing some shopping lately and I have been getting really good deals on some vintage designer items. I wanted to sit down and share with you guys a lot of the items that I picked up because I'm so excited about these. I have been slowly sharing them over on TikTok as I kind of get them in. But I wanted to sit down with you guys and do like a big haul and add them all in one video. Also share with you guys some of the projects that I've been working on from my last vintage designer haul because I had some items I was gonna be working on. I like to buy items as like projects sometimes. So I'll share with you guys those as well, some updates. But yeah, I have some really, really good items, some really good deals. And like I said, if you guys want to see them as I get them in, definitely follow my TikTok. But we're doing the sit down today. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, first and foremost, before I get into showing you guys the items, I always get asked where I get my items from. I either get them from Mercari Japan or eBay. And sometimes I'll find them on like the real real and things like that. So they come from all different places, but most of the time they come in from Japan. I order them online. They have like Japanese eBay sellers that tend to have really good items. Honestly, I <laughs> I, I spend more time than I'd like to admit just perusing the online stores. So when I get good deals, it's because I catch them at a good time. Let's not delay any further. Really quickly, I wanted to show you guys these from my last vintage haul. These are those black Chanel mules. I fixed them up and they are basically brand spanking new now. I think I'll film a TikTok on what I did because I did basically redo all the patent leather on these. If you guys remember, and I'll show the before here on screen, these were all cloudy and damaged and now they're all shiny and pristine and new. And so I have these beautiful Chanel mules. I think I spent like 60 or 70 bucks on these at the time. So where my little update on my projects. Speaking of patent leather, these boots are phenomenal and they are Louis Vuitton patent leather boots. They are kind of like a dark brown red. You can't really tell on screen, but yeah, they are kind of a darker brown and while they are in pretty good shape, they do have some scratches on them. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the scratches out of them and just some overall general wear and tear on the inside of the boots. Cause you know, as you walk, the zippers tend to like scuff the patent leather. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix brown patent leather, but I think these are so cute. They have like these silver details to them here on the toes and also here on the heel. So it has like a cute little toe cap there. And then you have like the Louis Vuitton right here written on the inside. I paid $42 for these. <laughs> so a really good deal. That's not including shipping obviously. And I got these in the size 36 and a half. Amazing. Oh, okay. These are really adorable. And I bought these for a wedding that I'm going to actually this month. I should get on working on them because they do need a little bit of a repair. These are Chanel. These are also patent leather I'm realizing. And these are these cute like little sandal heels that also have a silver detail on them. I love this bright red color. It's like a fire engine red. These are in a size 36 and a half and I paid $40 for these, obviously not including shipping, but yeah, they're in really good shape. The integrity of them, like the actual structure, I just have to fix the back of the heel because it definitely has some like nicks in that silver part. So I'm going to have to figure out how I can kind of refinish this and keep that mirror finish look to it. But yeah, I'll have to do some trial and error, but it has like the little Chanel logo here on the heel, which I think is really cute. And I feel like these are simple enough to go with a lot of different dresses. So those are super cute. And by the way, since I'm showing you guys a lot of shoes, you'll notice I buy them in different sizes. And honestly, it's hit or miss because all designers have different sizing. I usually sit between like a 36 and a 37. So that's usually my safe range, but I'll show you guys. There are some 37s that are a tad too big for me. I'm like a six and a half US sizes if you're curious. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the, the shoes that don't fit me. I might resell them. So if I do, I'll let you guys know. I kind of just hope for the best. And then when I get them and they don't fit, I'm just really sad about it. <laughs> I'll have to figure something out, but that's like the honest truth about it. These are so cute. I've actually already worn them because I clean and wash them. And by the way, I also did not mention this. There's dog hair on these. I thoroughly clean and sanitize any used shoes before I even try them on. So I have a couple different methods that I do. And this one in particular, I did soap and water. Um, so these, 
I'll have to show you guys. Maybe I have a before. I'll show you guys. Um, they had like dirt on the inside of them. So I got those all scrubbed up and cleaned. And I just think that these are super cute. By the way, I didn't even say these are Jimmy Choo wedges. How adorable are these? I like the little pom-pom detail on the side and like a white summer wedge. I feel like it's perfect for summertime. And then they have like a Jimmy Choo logo kind of metal plate here at where your toes are. I spent $35 on these and then I just washed them with soap and water. So not a ton of money went into these. I will say these are not comfortable. Like I said, I did wear these and this part is so rigid. It like wears on my foot. So I might have to put something here like a cushion, um, but it's a good thing I didn't pay full price because I'd been really sad if I spent like designer money and they were uncomfortable. Let's switch it up and I want to show you guys a bag because this was a bag I bought actually last year. So this is an older purchase, but I just recently finished redoing it. And this is kind of like a, like a fun item I thought and it is a Chanel like duffel bag <laughs> now this is from their sports line and I paid $182 it was $152 I wanted in an eBay auction and then it was $30 to ship it from Japan and I will again throw up the before it was in terrible shape the thing with these rubber bags which the outside of this is they tend to wear and the paint kind of like peels off of it. So I went back in and refinished it and I think it is adorable. It's the perfect little shoulder bag and I just think this would be really cute to take to Pilates or like a fitness class and just like look super fun or even just kind of if you're into streetwear. So this was a fun piece that I picked up for a reasonable price. I redid it and now I get this cute little double. It's like a little mini double bag and I also I was like functional buckles. I actually bought this because I was thinking this could be a really cute like belt bag. It is not. It is way too big for me to like wear across body. So it's just a shoulder bag, but I think it's super cute. So that's my Chanel bag that I purchased and redid. Okay, so these are the shoes that I was kind of talking about earlier that are too big for me, which I am devastated about because these are such a good find and I paid, how much did I pay for these? $42 for these Bottega Veneta platform sandals. And I'm such a platform girly, so I was really looking forward to wearing these over the summertime because they're also like baby pink. And they also have that like classic intrachato weave from Bottega Veneta. So I'm so sad that these don't fit. They're a 37 and a half, so I kind of should have known that they were gonna be too big, but I thought maybe I could make it work. These are like a full size too big for me. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I'll probably just have to resell them. So once I clean them up, I'll let you guys know if I post these or what I decide to do with them. But yeah, how cute would those have been for like spring and summer? I feel like baby pink is a neutral, so these would have gotten a lot of wear. But I will say, these are freaking heavy, so I'm sad about them though. Honestly, that is the gamble you take when you're, you're not able to like try on shoes and obviously you can't return them, so it is what it is. So these are also from Bottega Veneta. I have another wedding that I'm gonna go to in July that I thought these might be really pretty and they have like these crystal, detailing on it. It's just a classic black sandal and I just thought they were beautiful and I paid $34 for these and I got these in the size 37. They are also, which I, I think maybe Bottega Veneta just runs a little big for me. These also are a tad big but because they have this back heel area, I can actually put in like an insert here that might make it small enough where my foot will fit. But yeah, I'm surprised because usually a 37 is pretty safe for me. These will be perfect for weddings, but I also need to get the heels replaced because actually the heel cap is damaged on one of them. So I'll probably just take them to a cobbler and get them both replaced. Again, that's kind of the nature of buying used shoes is like sometimes you gotta do some repairs and I have a cobbler that's really good that will do all the repairs for me. So to change it up again, to get away from the shoes for a second, this is something I am so excited about and it's so beautiful. And actually I kind of splurged a little bit on this because I paid $60 for this. I think I said I spent like 40 or 50 on TikTok. I actually looked it up. I, I spent 60 on this, but it is this gorgeous classic Gucci scarf. Again, it has the border of like my favorite color, which is that baby pink. This is 100% silk scarf, so it's just beautiful and silky soft with the hand rolled edges. And the reason that I wanted this scarf in particular is because this is from the designs Vittorio Acanero, who does the Gucci Flora. He's the original designer of that. And he actually designed it with Princess Grace Kelly in mind. So you actually see pictures of her wearing Gucci 
Flora and you still see it as an iconic print today in the House of Gucci. So this is one of his designs. This scarf is probably from like the 70s, I would say, maybe even the 60s, but it is absolutely beautiful. I saw in the pictures that there are some stains on this and I did watch a couple videos before purchasing this of how to get stains out of silk scarves. I actually don't see the stains, so I'm gonna have to go back and look and see where it is. But yeah, this is in beautiful condition for the age and it's just such a classic design. It's very botanical, has butterflies and flowers and little bugs on it. And I just think it's so cute. And I was thinking I could actually wear this as a top because I picked like the bigger size. It's like the 85 centimeter one. So it's a large scarf so you can wear it over your shoulders or on your head or as a top. And so yeah, I might have something coming in the mail that will go with this. But it's just something that I feel like is such a classic, like silk scarves or something you can always find use for. And it's such a classic Gucci piece. All right, we are getting towards the end. Now these, these next shoes, <laughs> I'm pretty sure are like the deal of the century, but these shoes need some work and I can tell right out of the bag, like I need to clean them. But these are Christian Louboutin patent wedges. And I remember from the pictures, I think there's clouding somewhere on this. And like I showed you with the Chanel mules, I am now pretty good at patching up and fixing black patent leather. Well, I'm gonna have to do that with these, but I also am just gonna have to clean them in general. I paid $12 for these, plus obviously shipping and handling, so probably about like $30. For a classic style like this, Christian Louboutin, I feel like that is such a good deal and they're in my size 37. I have not tried these on yet because again, I clean them before I even try them on. So yeah, but I'm really excited about these. Again, I'm confident in my ability to fix black patent leather now and I just think that those are gonna be a classic for my closet. Another bag I bought is this Gucci bucket bag. It has the bamboo handle and it's just like, I'm, such, I'm a bucket bag girl. I always love bucket bags. So this was something that I picked up for $85, so under a hundred bucks. And it has like this suede to it with like the leather sides. The inside was perfectly clean. And honestly, I'm not even sure they use the straps because the hardware is pristine on this guy. And I will say this, I love a bucket bag because it's slouchy, it has a lot of space, and I can just kind of throw everything in this. But this is kind of like a bottomless pit I've been using for the past couple of weeks. So I'm gonna need to get like an organizer or something for it and also to hold its shape because it tends to fall over. And also the bamboo handle, and like this makes total sense, but it's just not something I thought about. It's not very comfortable to like wear on your, arm like this like it's definitely like digs into your arms so i don't know if people actually use this to hold the bag i mean i'll carry it like top handle like this but yeah this is such a cute bag it's vintage it's such a good style it's classic and i have actually been using this and enjoying it i just need to get an organizer so it doesn't take me forever to like dig my stuff out of here i kind of saved one of my favorites for last because i could not believe the state that these were in when i got them <laughs> These are denim Chanel platform sandals. And for the price I paid, which was $40, I thought that these were gonna be in rough shape. But as I'm looking at these, I'm realizing that a lot of the distressing on like the strap and like in general on the sandal is intentional distressing. And where you would think would see the most wear, like this like rattan or cane or whatever we wanna call it on the platform is Perfect. Usually platforms like vintage platforms with like cork or wood or rattan or any type of like more natural material, they wear fast. Like they just get kicked and beat up. And these are, they're an awesome shape. Like even the sole doesn't look like it's been worn a ton. And so I just think that these are so cute. Like a denim platform sandal. These are gonna be so cute for spring and summer. I love how they have like the little Chanel CC here, but it's still subtle. It's not like in your face. And I just think these are so cute. I got these in a size 36. For some reason, Chanel sizing is more forgiving for me. I can fit in like a 36, 36 and a half, and a 37 in Chanel shoes, which I have pretty much all the sizes of. So, 
How cute is that? I was very pleasantly surprised by these. So anyways guys, those were the vintage designer items I've picked up over the past couple of months. Like I said, I spent a lot of time perusing online, seeing if I could find deals in my size and find projects that I think I can fix up and work on. So I have a lot of fun doing this and I have a lot of fun and unique pieces for my closet that I can't wait to style. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys wanna see me fixing up some of the items, definitely go follow my TikTok. I think I'm gonna be posting that content more over there because it makes a little bit more sense. It's a bit more short form content. So I will go ahead and link that down in the description box below. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.